Morning folks, it is Friday the 7th of August and this morning we're going to read together Psalm 41. This is the, the last psalm in what is called Book 1 of the Psalms, which goes from, from Psalm 1 to 41. So let's hear Psalm 41 together. Oh, the joys of those who are kind to the poor. The Lord rescues them when they are in trouble. The Lord protects them and keeps them alive. He gives them prosperity in the land and rescues them from their enemies. The Lord nurses them when they are sick and restores them to health. O oh Lord, I pray, have mercy on me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. But my enemies say nothing but evil about me. How soon will he die and be forgotten, I ask? They visit me as if they were my friends, but all the while they gather gossip. And when they leave, they spread it everywhere. All who hate me whisper about me, imagining the worst. He has some fatal disease, they say. He will never get out of that bed. Even my best friend, the one I trusted completely, the one who shared my food, has turned against me. Lord, have mercy on me. Make me well again so I can pay them back. I know you are pleased with me, for you have not let my enemies triumph over me. You have preserved my life because I am innocent. You have brought me into your presence forever. Praise the Lord, the God of Israel, who lives from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and amen. Amen. That is Psalm 41. Again, a psalm of ups and downs and everything else, but just thinking about the verse one. Oh, the joys of those who are kind to the poor, the Lord rescues them when they are in trouble. It's again, it's an early reference to caring for one another. It's an early reference to looking out for one another. Something which Jesus builds upon in the New Testament. when he says, love your neighbour as yourself. And then when somebody's asked, who is my neighbour? Um, how Jesus replies with the story of the Good Samaritan. Um, and how even those who don't like us, we are called to look out for. And you know, it's, you wonder, is that what the psalmist is wrestling with here? He's talking about those who don't like him, talking about those who seem to be friends who've turned against him, even doesn't completely name him, but talks about the one who's even shared my food and how he has turned against me. You know, there's that sense of betrayal, but yet we still need to look out for one another. And even when somebody is, has been nasty to us, we still have a responsibility um, to show them love, to show them patience, to show them kindness. You know, and then it comes to the very last verse. Praise the Lord, the God of Israel, who lives from everlasting to everlasting. It's that recognising the eternal nature of God. So yeah, it's a psalm which, as you dig into it, and as you dig a wee bit more, it is a hard psalm to follow. Loving those who don't love us, loving those and caring for those actually who... Or who do evil to us, who um, just want to gossip about us and harm us, even those who we would feel were our best friend, how, how we continue to look out for them. But that's the sort of love which God teaches us about. That sacrificial love, agape love. Love which puts the need of the other above your own need. Love which Christ showed us. Let's pray that we can show agape love today. Let's pray. Father, as we gather, and just as we read your Psalms again, we are challenged, very much challenged by what it says to us. Lord, we see so many examples of agape love in your words as we look to Jesus and what he did for us as we read through the New Testament. But we know there are other references to that type of love right the way throughout Scripture, and we've read one today. Lord, help us to show that agape love, even in the most difficult situation. Help us to behave the way you want us to, to model that Christ-like um, love and affection and caring for others. We acknowledge that this will be hard, Lord, that will be difficult, that sometimes we'll get it right and a lot of the times we'll get it wrong. But please help us, Father. Help us to show that love so that others would know that you care. Lord, thank you. Thank you that we can always trust in your love.
we can always rely upon it. That it doesn't get any weaker, rather it grows stronger each day. Lord, may our love for you grow stronger each day also. Help us, Father, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you, folks, for joining with me again this week. It is Friday, so there'll be no Bible reading tomorrow morning, Saturday. And on Sunday morning, may I encourage you to um, watch the service, which we put up online. It'll be the moderator service, which we're using while I'm off on holiday. Um, but please follow the links to the moderator service and worship together as God's people on the large scale as, uh, as, as you do that. And then uh, the Bible readings will be back again on Monday morning. But in the meantime, take care. God bless. See you soon.